Let's try this again. Do we have a video today? Good morning. Welcome to the Newman Center. Again. Happy Easter to all of you. It is great to have you with us as we celebrate this wonderful day of Easter. So. <laughs> Father, who raised Jesus from the dead, be with all of you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters in Christ, it is a joyful day. We have transformed the, the sanctuary. We have the Newman Singers. We have all that is necessary for the fullness of joy and the fullness of life. Jesus has broken the bonds of sin and death. And so it is with great hope, it is with great peace, and great humility that we are asked to call to mind our sins so as to enter more deeply into these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to
Let us pray. O God, who on this day through your only begotten Son have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought by your Spirit rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us. The witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, your life, appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 
and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial clothes there and the cloth that had covered his, face, his head, not with the burial clothes, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We all need the testimony of witnesses. Whether it is something simple, something profound, something miraculous. Something simple. I saw the tulips breaking through the ground. I saw a robin. Spring is coming. I saw, I saw on the news the other day, by Easter Sunday, it will be 75 degrees, if not warmer. Something profound. No, I saw the ring on her finger. He did, in fact, ask her, and she said, yes, it is good news. They're planning the wedding. The miracle. He's no longer dead. He has been been raised raised from the the dead, dead. the The tomb tomb is is empty, empty. and And everything everything has changed. Everything, the The profound and the simple. simple. There's There's nothing nothing that has has not been changed by the news that we have heard. Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. We saw the witnesses in the scripture that was proclaimed to us. Peter, now this is at Pentecost, All the twelve are gathered, the eleven are gathered. And because of the Holy Spirit gathering everybody, Peter has an opportunity. And he speaks to all of them and he says, we are witnesses of these things. We were there before, during, and after. We saw Jesus after he had died. He spoke words of peace to us. The Gospel reading. Mary is the first witness. She sees the, the open tomb. She doesn't go in. She runs and gets Peter and the other beloved disciple. And it's funny how John the Evangelist, as a witness, puts in these quirky, interesting details. The beloved disciple. He must have ran track. He's faster than Peter. The cloth, the very cloth, was rolled up in a separate place. All these witness details. Again, Again, it has changed, changed everything. everything. Paul, Paul is asking, asking us to be witnesses. witnesses. He, he says, says to not, not he starts, starts off by saying, seek the things that are above. Think about the things of heaven. Why, Why would he do, do that? Because, because we're, we're not, not talking, talking about history now, now although it happened in history. history. We're talking we're about, about the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, Spirit the, fact the fact that, that heaven and earth are united in the resurrected Christ. He has ascended into heaven, and he intercedes for his church. So he is pouring out the gifts of love, of peace, of forgiveness, of everything that we need here on earth to make here on earth something worth living. Seek the things of heaven and become a witness. A witness. In the early church, 
as his church was exploding with new members each and every day, the bishop would say, I was a disciple of, who was a disciple of, who knew John, who was with Jesus. We are, we are witnesses, witnesses of these, these things. things. But, but then, then it's, it's not, not just, just the memory of the, of the, of the things. things. They, they are, are witnesses, witnesses of the Holy Spirit, Spirit just, just blowing apart any, any boundary, any, any obstacle, any, any hurdle that, that the church, church has. has. Even, Even though, though the gates, gates of hell were trying to prevail, to prevail. They, knew. they knew they'd been, they'd been given, given the promise. promise. Hell had been, been defeated. Sin, Sin and death, death had been, been defeated. defeated. And so, and so even, even in the, in the face, face of danger, danger the, proclamation the proclamation went out. out. And more, and more witnesses, witnesses were made. made. I have I been blessed, blessed to be here at the Newman, Newman Center, Center now, now for, for 11, 11 years. years. Not, Not in, a in a row, row but in, in totality. totality. And, the and the growth, growth and, the and the experience and the witness, witness that I can give you of what's going on here is amazing. We've, we've had, had many, many activities, activities and, and we've, we've had, had many, many great, great things, things happening, happening throughout, throughout the history of the Newman Center, Center and the Newman, the Newman Club, Club and the Newman, Newman Movement. movement. But there's, there's something happening, happening now that I am, I am so glad, glad to be a part, part of. of. This, this chapel, chapel doesn't, doesn't remain, remain empty, empty between, between Sunday, Sunday to Sunday. Sunday. Our daily, daily masses, masses are filling up even in the midst of a pandemic. People are coming, coming in here and praying, praying asking, asking for God's, God's blessing, blessing, asking for discernment, asking, asking the, the question, question Lord, Lord, what do you want me to do for you? For you? I've, I've seen, seen it. it. I'm a witness, I'm a witness of, that. of that. And it, it is, is changing, changing my priesthood. priesthood. It, is it is changing, changing the, way the way that I minister, minister to, the to the students that are, that are coming here. here. I, 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 I used to think naively that we don't want to challenge them too much because they might not find that attractive. It's quite the opposite. They want to be they want challenged, challenged because, because they want to be, want to be saints. saints. They, they want, want to be credible witnesses. witnesses. And they are. I can testify to that. We've got a long way to go. There are more students that don't find their way in here that, that do. But as we grow the number of witnesses, as we grow the number of people who authentically have been blessed by God, challenged by God, fortified by God, and sent out by God to be witnesses, Boy, I just, I look forward every day to coming here. And I, and I challenge whoever's watching this Mass. It's not because of their age. It's not because they have more time on their hands than anybody else. They're quite busy. It could be younger, it could be older. But seek the things that are above. Draw down from heaven the grace that is there that makes this the kingdom of God because Christ came, suffered, died, rose from the dead, and ascended back into heaven. There is a link now. We have access. Hallelujah. But we do think about the things of heaven as well. We ground ourselves in the word of God. We recognize ourselves as the body of Christ, the church, on mission. And when we do that, life gets kind of exciting. Perhaps not quite as exciting as Peter and the Beloved and Mary finding the tomb empty, the burial cloth rolled up in a different place. Soon they will see Jesus face to face. But no less exciting, no less adventurous, because the third person of the Trinity is constantly trying to penetrate my heart, my mind, and my soul and tell me it's not something of history. It is now that the proclamation must go forth. We need credible witnesses now. I was thinking about all that was happening in those days. They had just celebrated the, Paschal, the, the, the Passover meal. And I wonder sometimes we can think, perhaps they think as we do now, oh, this is something that was hundreds to thousands of years before us. Wouldn't it be great if something broke through today and it did the Holy Spirit desires your heart the Holy Spirit the love of God and the, and the, and the Son desires to, to give you everything and using your freedom to send you forth to be a witness on this Easter 
on this Easter day, during this Easter season, let us remember what the world needs, what the church needs, what you need, because when you are on an adventure, you are fully alive. You're not recollecting only the past, but you're seeing what God is doing now and leading you into the future. So the tomb has been emptied. Jesus has broke the bonds of sin and death. Nothing stands in your way. Receive the mercy of God. Receive the commission of God. And go out and be truly authentic witnesses. My dear brothers and sisters, technology has not advanced to the point where we can sprinkle holy water through cameras and have it find you wherever you are, but it is the tradition in the Easter season and on this Easter day that we renew the grace of our baptism, that entry into a relationship with God that starts the adventure. And so on this Easter, I ask you, do you ren renounce Satan? I do. And all his works. I do. And all his empty show. I do. Do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil that sin may have no mastery over you? I do. Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestow on us forgiveness of our sins. Keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. Because we are in need and because Christ has broken the bonds of sin and death and intercedes for us at his Father's hand, let us offer him our prayers and petitions. For the people of God, brought through saving waters to a land of promise, may our lives be a song of joy to the Lord who has triumphed gloriously. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the human race, created in the image and likeness of God, may God place within all peoples a new heart and a new spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those newly baptized into the death and resurrection of Christ, May they walk always with Christ in newness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this assembly, gathered to eat and drink with the risen Lord, may we set our hearts on things that are above, even as we bear witness here to the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, whose lifelong vigil for the Lord has ended, may those who have died with Christ also live with him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we thank you for the power of your love, the power of your love. We ask you to assist us in trusting you being drawn in relationship to you, and being sent out on mission to be credible witnesses through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Exalted with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice, the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather the people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your, your Son, son our, our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, at, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord. Therefore, O Lord, 
as we celebrate the memorial of the sitting passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward toward the second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray on the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the, the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph's spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. John Newman, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this May sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In, in your, your compassion, O oh merciful Father, Father gather, gather to yourself all your children scattered, scattered throughout, throughout the world. world. To our departed brothers, brothers, brothers and sisters, and all who are pleased with you at their passing from this life, life give kind admittance to your, to your kingdom. kingdom. There, there we hope to enjoy, enjoy forever, forever the fullness of your glory, of your glory through Christ, Christ our Lord, Lord, through whom you bestow on the world, world all that is good. good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and power is yours forever and command and formed, formed by divine, divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your sign of peace. Thank you. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word of my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal Mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirits. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. Amen. And may he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exalting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you, upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Hallelujah.